I got a pimple on the rim of my asshole. How's your day going? I tell you something, once in a while, God can throw you a curveball. I'm at war, work, work. And I'm walking around, it's like my asshole's doing Morse code. It's like, da 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 I'm like, what is this, SOS? Huh? I don't know, asshole S? Guys. I don't know, it's tearing the human soul out of me. So yesterday I'm in the shower and I'm like feeling around back there. I'm like, what's going on? It's it, it's theater of the mind. I felt like I was grabbing onto a lacrosse ball. I'm like, what is, what, what is this thing? So I go up to my wife. I get out of the shower. I got my towel on, by the way. Every time... I like, I see guys get out of the towel, uh, out of the shower and they tie their towel and they just like walk around. I don't know. It looks like they can run the 40. I wrap my towel around. It's like, zoom. I'm like, wow, that's great. Fantastic. No ass to speak of. Thanks, big guy. Honestly, so happy about that. I, had, I have the op. I, I think I have an inverted ass at this point. Oh yeah, you ever see old ladies when they get old and then they get like, they get like the diamond cutter, I call it the diamond cutter ass. Yeah. Their ass comes down to like a point. I feel like, I, what should I, hey Susie, should I hook you into a CNC machine and we can etch this glass? Come on. You never saw old ladies with the diamond cutter? Eh. Anyway, I got like an inverted ass. Like my ass goes the other way. And then I have the nerve to go to the gym the other day and get on the leg press. You ever see a guy with no ass on the leg press? It looks like a spinal cord with legs attached to it. Let me let, let me go on the, the leg press, the machine that, that injures my back every time I look at it. Well, what is with this thing? I don't know, man. I try going back. I'm going back to the gym. I, I, I literally have a pair of sweatpants with cum stains on it. All right. And I'm going to the gym. Sorry, everybody out there in society. I just don't care anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyhow. And then, of course, I got to go back in and have my card freshened up. So I got to go into the, I got to go into the gym. I can't, I can't control myself. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger going into Venice Beach gym, Gold's gym back in the day. Hello, I'd like to try to put on some muscles. And then the person looks at me, they're like, you want a 45 plate across your head? I say, hey, listen, you know, what are you going to do? Guys, can I have coffee? Huh? It's Christmas time, right? Yes. I need coffee. Oh, a coffee. Oh, hot coffee. Yeah, so that's it. And I, I came out of the shower with my towel up, clutching the towel, keeping it from falling down. And I walk over to my wife and uh, I said, um, honey, I think I have like an anal hemorrhoid pimple uh, blister from hell. Would you have a look at it? Uh, 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 you're kidding me! I said, yeah, just don't, don't make a big deal. My son's already looking over the couch. I'm like, this is the last thing I need. My son walking in on us, on us doing an asshole inspection. I said, just would you, 
just fucking come this way. I mean, we go into the bedroom. The dog comes walking in. I said, get him out of here. All right. Listen, when I have sex with my wife, I know this is personal stuff, but I can't have the fucking dog in the room. All right. I mean, it's bad enough. Uh, anyway, moving along. So, yeah, that's it. I bend over on the bed with the old, I take the old towel off for the big reveal. You have any idea? And the look of horror in my wife's eyes, I tell you what, it's one of those moments. It's like, you know what? Hey, listen, we got to do some maintenance here. All right? <laughs> you know, we got to rotate the tires once in a while for crying out crin. I said, how does it look back there? She goes, I see a dry spot. Like, oh no, it's not that. There's an area that's bleeding. I said, no, no, it, it's not that. That's from, uh, that's from 92. I don't know that there's lesions jumping out at you. I said, I said, no, the pimple, the pimple by the asshole. My son's knocking on the door. Everything okay in there? I'm like, yeah, no, no, no problem at all. And then she's got to go in there. She's poking around. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm over here. I'm winking at her. I said, this shit's got to stop. Listen, guys, you got nothing better to do, huh? Crying out loud. Get your, get your Christmas shopping done. I got a guy at work, he leaves his Christmas lights up all year round. One of those guys. It's one of the people in my life I admire the most. And I say to him every year, I say, hey, you got, you put up the Christmas lights yet? And he looks at me like this, like I'm one of his neighbors. And he goes like this. I know what the fuck is going on. The only, the only thing you got to put up is a switch. That's right, because you got life figured out. How about you? I'm telling you right now. If I could just live, I don't know, out in the woods somewhere, oh my God, it'd be fantastic. I just want to cut down trees. I want to hew boards. I want to make log cabins. You understand? Until the very first day when you start to try to cut down a tree. I got news for you right now. I remember my friend. We had a chainsaw. And by the time we were done, I was like, fuck this. I'm going home. <laughs> Even cutting down, down a tree with a chainsaw is vigorous. I don't know. Or as my friend's father would say, a chainsaw. So I go to pick up my son the other day. I don't know. It's like I can't leave the house without taking my dog for a ride. As soon as he sees me putting on my shoes, he comes tearing over. And it's like the tail's wagging, the, the tail that somebody cut off. I mean, and his nub's wagging, basically. And... Uh, forgot what I was going to say. How about that? Oh, you, he, then I got to say to him, you want to go for a ride? You want to go for a ride? And then the lipstick comes flying out. I don't know, man. And he's just like, he's so excited. I'm like, how do I say no? Let's go. We hop in the old Mustanger. I go to pick up my son in the Mustang. I said, I got to leave him some good memories before I drop dead. You kidding me? I used to be worried about, you know, picking up my son. There's no seat belts in the car, this, that, the other thing. Now we do burnouts down the road. Okay? I said, I'm leaving my son with a with a, an imprinted tattoo of his father. 
in his head when I, when I, when I, uh, you know, uh, finally drop dead. That's right. That's important stuff. Like, you know, you want, you, you, you know, getting a Mustang was more than just like getting a Mustang. It was like, you know, I got to show this kid, you know, you got to have fun in life that my dad had a Mustang. Okay. You grow up. Listen, your dad drove a fucking, uh, a Nissan Sentra. You understand? You have kids and your kids get older and you're like, you know, they look back on their father and they say, oh, look, he drove a fucking Nissan Sentra. What a goddamn loser from hell. <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta do something that your kids say, uh, I don't know. Is it me? We drive the, the, the car to, to the school there and the dog's got to be on my lap, it, interrupting every shift. He's got his nose under my arm and then he's looking out the window. Then I see a dog. And I'm like, look, doggy, doggy, what is it about a dog that when you point, they look at you? I said, for Christ's sake, do you have a brain in your head? I, I point, every time I point something, he starts looking at me. I said, stop looking at me. At the end of the finger, there's something, a point of interest to you, you dumb shit. Then I point, I point, I point, and at the last minute, he'll see the dog that's walking out there. And then, he's, then he goes like this on my on the, my steel door that I just painted. I'm like, no, stop, stop, stop. And he's got to bark. It's like, what are you doing? He's trying to marshal his uh, dominance from inside of a car. So go sit down on the other seat. You can't sit down on the other fucking seat. It's tailor made for you for crying out loud. Anyhow, now that we drive the rest of the way to the school with his claws dug into my thigh. Head out the window. Dogs love sticking their head out the window. It's just, it's unbelievable. They just love it. And it looks like the never ending story. He's got his head out the window like this. His ears are flopping back. Whatever. We get to the motherfucking school. And I park across the street. And, uh. I thought that would be an important piece of information. Uh, and I get out of the car. I say, Chewy, stay, stay. I go get my son. We come back. And as I'm walking around the corner of the gate of the school, I see the old man with Katie. And they're at the Mustang. And... Chewie's at the window of the Mustang, and Katie's like this. I'm going to do it slow motion for you. Whoosh. 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 And now I'll do it at real time. <laughs> On the side of my car. On the side of my car. And I turn the corner, and I see this, and I'm like, ah... I just was like, it was like, hey, squeak. My voice cracked. And the old man turns around. One arm up in the air like this all the time. Always one arm up in the air. And he looks at me like this. And he goes, hey, how you doing? I said, no, I'm, I'm doing great, except for the chills going up and down my spine because your dog is destroying my restoration. I don't know. It just continued on for what seemed like hours. He's got, this old man had no, 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 just no idea. What was no situational awareness? Don't you love when you go to work and these, these managers drop the, these fucking nonsense words on you? I had a guy that used to say to me, hey, what's the sit rep? I said, sit rep? What's that? The situation report. I said, oh, the sit rep. It's on the end of my dick. Get out of my fucking face, the sit rep. We, we make fucking $15 an hour for a reason. All right? 
Not so I can get a, a, a call over the radio. Uh, does anybody see Jesse? Is he on assignment? On assignment? I'm on the fucking toilet bowl taking a shit. I love the little buzzwords that managers have. Oh, it's so aggravating. Get out of my life. Yeah, and there's something I am talking to at work. I, I don't know how we got into the topic of eggnog. I don't know. Can somebody dig me a coffin so I could just jump into it at this point? I don't know. Anybody want to dig me a coffin? I haven't gotten any sleep lately, guys. So just please, can you back off? I don't know, I'm talking to this guy about eggnog, and he's going on and on. He's like, yeah, he goes, I, I make my own eggnog. I say, yeah, how do you do that? He goes, oh, he goes, I put brandy and uh, tequila, and I put a little sour sop. I don't know what he's talking I'm like, what the fuck are you making? What is this, white gas for a, a, a lamp somewhere? For crying out loud. Eggnog? This is like, what is this, Long Island eggnog? Get the fuck out of here. You know, what do you call, you should call that, that eggnog the Bill Cosby. Anyhow, imagine somebody says, yeah, have some eggnog and you drink that. Come on. Why am I dancing around with this wreath on my head and my fucking tits out? How about that one on for size? Great, great Christmas party. Yeah, it, it's a wonderful Christmas party. Why is somebody uh, masturbating with a ream of paper? I don't know, but the eggnog's great. I don't know, who are these people that go over the fucking Niagara Falls in a barrel? You know, just because they're not doing that shit anymore doesn't mean you don't have that guy, like, living next door to you. These people are still around. Somebody put themselves in a barrel and went over the Niagara Falls. I can't even go to Splish Splash out here on Long Island. All right? I'm not going back to that place. It scared the shit out of me the last time I went. And somebody thought they could climb in a barrel and go over to the Niagara Falls? That's just, that boggles my mind. Do you ever think about that? There are people that'll do that? I don't know. If they go over in a barrel, what else do they do in their life? That's what I want to know. Ah. <sighs> Ah, it's the end of that one. I think I'm turning into Mark Twain. This kid, this young kid. Listen, you ever work with a young... I'm doing a bale, all right? A bale of cardboard. This is what my life turned into. I said, that's a real resume stuffer I got right there. Yeah, so I'm here for the job interview. Oh, sit down. Sit down. Uh, so it says here that you worked over at this warehouse there. Yeah, what 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 did you do there? Ah, uh, uh, made a bale of garbage. Okay, you have any other uh, skills or uh, abilities? Nope. Anyhow, this young kid's doing the bale with me. And uh, he's just you know you know young people talk, and just whatever's coming out just is is like pure assholery. So he's going on and on and on, and I'm just I'm just I realize I'm that old guy that just is fed up with life now, I guess, and I'm just angry. 
at everything and this kid's talking and it's just like it just sounds like uh it sounds like somebody's breaking guitars and that's it while he talks anyhow i he says to me uh, but if i won the lottery then i you know then i i, I would do this i'd do that i'd do that uh, and you know what it just i just fired this out i said if you can't be happy as a poor man, you'll never be happy as a rich man. And I was like, wow, I should write that one down. <laughs> it's like, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. And I don't know, then he walked away. And uh, that was pretty much it. I went back to uh, bailing garbage. I don't know. Sometimes I, sometimes I pretend like when I'm throwing uh, items into the compactor. I just imagine like being caught in a compactor. You understand? You know, like the side one. And it's like, imagine getting your pelvis like caught in there. Boom, boom. And it just crushes your pelvis. And it's like, ah, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. You ever think about that? No. Uh, and... and I, I know, I know. Listen, all I need is like one, uh, one sweet billion dollars, maybe two billion dollars, okay? And I tell you what, I think I think a billion dollars could buy anybody happiness. <laughs> At that point, I don't think you're allowed to complain. I mean, I knew a woman that won the lottery, and then she went to a psychiatrist. I can't handle this. <laughs> It's ripping my life apart! Like, shut the fuck up, annoying person! <laughs> Let me help you out. That's the old thing, right? Just give me the money and we won't have the problems anymore. Oh my god, the, the major problem. I can't figure out what massage parlor to go to! Ah! Shut your ass! People are so stupid. <laughs> and then, like, uh... A billion dollars? I mean, come on. Come on. I think I would jerk off everywhere I go. That's it. I just wouldn't stop jerking off. I don't know. People scream. They get they get traumatized. You give them 10 grand. Here. Sorry. Sorry I ruined your day. Sorry. Here's, here's, here's 10 grand. All right. Have a great day. Oh, hey, Grandma. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here. Here's 10 grand. That's right. You know? Uh, listen. I ain't gonna stop. I ain't gonna stop jerking off. Who's gonna tell me? Nobody's gonna tell me. They're gonna throw me in jail. I buy my way out. <laughs> the first cop that comes near me, I tase him with a... I don't know. I... I, I you listen. When you, when you put a stack of, like, 10 grand bills down somebody's pants... Okay, that's when all the harassment stops. Uh, we're a billionaire here. I think I could spend a billion dollars probably in a week. I'm not exaggerating. That's the one thing. That's the one problem about getting a billion dollars. I don't know. I would. Uh, yep. I don't know. I would own a football team. I could tell you right now in the NFL. How much? How many? How many billions do I need? I need like 50 billion, right? I buy an NFL team, right? And then I go in there and I kill the training program altogether. And I say, men, we're going to IHOP. That's right. And then I, we, I, we take the boys down to IHOP every day. I get these guys all up to, I don't know, they can't even walk. And then we play football. I don't know. I'd have the most losingest team in history of, of the National Football League. That's right. That's right. We'd be the New York thrombosises. Could easily spend a billion right there. So you need at least 50 billion. You know, if you're gonna buy a sports team and just run it into the ground. You understand? I'd buy I'd buy the Mets, but I don't think you could run that team any further into the ground. <laughs> oh. oh. 
I don't know. You know, I went out to a Christmas fair. To get, how far are we in here? Oh. A Callahan? Oh, come on. That's it. Son of a... Self-explanatory, I guess. Reporting for duty. Just like... It might, it's probably somebody in very grave danger. Hold on a second. There we go. So, uh, yeah, I went to a Christmas fair the other day. You know, I was out working on my car. Do I got to tell you? It was like a 60 degree day in December. I go outside. I tell my son, get on your skateboard. Start skating around. There were sirens going off outside. I said, Santa Claus is coming. You understand? And he's coming on a fire truck. So he's so, my son's so excited. He's skateboarding around the neighborhood looking for Santa. I'm out there pulling plugs on the Mustang. You have no idea. I put out, I put out my, my little speaker. I start to play in 60s garage rock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gloria, Gia, Laura, hey, Gloria. Da, da, da. You know, just 60s rock I'm playing. While I'm working on my 66 Mustanger. That's right. Changed in the fuel filter that the, the fuel filter that keeps on breaking on me because it's made in China. Every problem that I've had with my car, China's responsible. I'm driving home from work. The car starts running like hell. I'm like, what's going on here? I I I, I get home, I check under the hood. The fuel filter element. It just disintegrated in there. It was like a pile of mush. I'm like, oh, no wonder. Now my carburetor's all jammed up. It's like, thanks a lot. If that wasn't China, I don't... Listen, then... I don't know what you're telling me. So, you know, this is like... You gotta look out. The, the, pr the thing... The, the quality of items has gone down so drastically. I buy zip ties now. When, when I pull the zip tie... <laughs> Like, just a straight pull. I'm not introducing, like, a torsional stress to it. I pull the zip tie, and they snap. That that was unheard of, even two years ago. Um, sometimes I, I tighten something, like, where's snap? You ever pull a zip tie, and I'm talking about a substantial zip, zip tie, and it snaps? Never. Never. Now you do. They snap all the time. I said, this is what China's doing. They're gradually reducing quality of items until all Americans just rip their motherfucking hair out. So I'm out there. Oh, let me tell you something. These are the days I love when the car's not broken, but I'm doing like general maintenance to it. You know, I know I'll be on the road soon. Just got to put these plugs back in, recap them, clean them, you know, check the earl, you understand, this type of thing. Check my breathers. That's stupid shit. Anyhow, I get the thing buttoned up. My son goes back inside with his mother. I go for a ride. And as I'm riding, I see a, there's a Christmas fair. And I'm like, oh, my God, I run home, I get my son. We go out there. And I said, they had Santa Claus. Uh, Jesus. So we get there. Like, I was in such a rush that I basically just threw... Uh, I still had, like, the, the jacket that I was working on the call with. And I had my old Boston... I basically had the clothes that I was working on my call with. I don't know why I'm trying. I'm even trying to talk myself out of it now. But I had my, my old Boston cap on. It's all covered in grease and, and everything else. I look like Cooter. You ever see Cooter? Come on. From Dukes of Hazzard. 
and I got my son there, and then it, it, like for some reason, like the town chancellor comes up to us. Do you do you understand? It's it's this guy, and he's got the the, the tie on. Hey, how are you? He goes to shake my hand, and he looks at me. He realizes he made a mistake, and I could see he almost did like a like a double pull on his handshake, and I was like, oh, uh, and I grabbed his hand, and I looked down at my hand, and my hand is like filthy. And I could see him looking at my hand and then giving me the like, the smile out of the side of the face. It's like, oh, good to meet you. Good to meet you. All right. I mean, what, what, what can I do next? Maybe just a uh, in my pants. You know, just like as 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 garnish to this uh, interaction we're having right now. So anyway. It was nice to meet the chancellor of the town. I don't even know what that is. I was like, chancellor? What is this guy in Star Wars? Who's the fucking chancellor? To me, he looked like a fucking... To be, uh, to be honest with you, he looked like he'd been tipping the bottle all day. So before he gets on me about my dirty hands, he might want to clean up his fucking uh, addiction. Anyhow, we get to this fair. First thing I got to do, I got to get a beer. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's beer and a pretzel, guys. Do you understand? <laughs> That's what we're here for. You, you, you don't call it a motherfucking fair unless there's a beer and a pretzel. If not, I go in there like John Taffa. Shut it down. Shut it down. I get my beer. My son's crying because he wants to go see Santa. I'm like, you got, Daddy's got to get his beer first. Do. Okay? Nothing happens until Dada gets his beer. That's it. I got my beer. I got the pretzel. You kidding me? We went on the carousel. If you could have saw the condition of this carousel, I am telling you right now, it was horrifying. I said, what's the worst that could happen? We lose one of these horses. Let's get on. <laughs> so... Yeah, that carousel, all I could do is, I was like a facilities uh, auditor. That's what I want to be, a facilities auditor for carnival rides. I get on there with my checklist. I say, uh, yeah, I'm looking for uh, Billy Joe Bob. That's right. Did you ever see these guys? They're all the same, man. It's the trucker hat. It's the dirty ass jeans. <laughs> you have no idea. And uh, I say, excuse me, but you have some exposed wires over that uh, pile of dirt. That's right. That's over that uh, uh, light bulb from 1925 that Thomas Edison built. I don't know. This thing had cams and greaseless cams and squeaks and groans. Oh, my Lord. Do you, is there a tube of fucking grease in sight? I don't see one. I see a fucking crowbar and a hammer sitting on top of the generator part. I said, where's the where's the grease gun? That's what I want to know. I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'm not getting on another carnival ride until the, the, the employees working the ride have a grease gun on their hip in a holster. You better start... Listen, you guys better start doing the maintenance on these machines. They're almost 100 years old, and you're still running them into the ground. I swear. I'm sorry, my coral reef uh, coffee stain is coming off into my mouth. That's right. That's over a 1,000 years of built-up coffee residue. Guys, what do you want to do here today for crying out, Crin? I tell you what, you know, you know something? I'm going to tell you something right now, all right? And I don't care about any of these other bullshit YouTube uh, con artists you like to watch. You want three solid games to play with your kid, huh? Are you ready for this? I'm going to tell you three. I was like, let me make a top ten list. And then I'm thinking it, and I'm like, no, I'm just fluffing it. You need three games. You ready for this right here? 
I can't remember them. No. In this order. Uh, M. M, 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 M. Zip, doing, zip. I don't want to say that one first. I'm trying to put them in an order. Rock and roll racing for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Did you, you heard that right? Rock and roll racing on the Super Nintendo. Then you have Neo Turf Masters on the Neo Geo. That's right. And finally, Volfeed or Volfied. Vol 5 on any console you could possibly imagine. I don't know what the original name for this game is, but it's awesome and it's great fun. Let's play a little right now. Picture, picture time. Hit me. All we need is a controller, tap into the Edison line, pipe through the Sansui 1010, charging atomic batteries, kill the lights of attrition, and move you into prime time position. Oh man. I just had so much fun the other day. Me and my, my kid, we really had fun playing Volfeed. So I figured I'd share it with you guys, and we'd sit here and let my emulation station lie to me and tell me it's done when it's obviously not done because we're not playing games right now. That's right. You're still not done. Can you imagine? All right, here we go. Maybe we'll just check this game out and then we'll hit the road. You know what I'm saying? PC engine. Oh yes, that was my mistake. Just so you know, this was a game that I got for the PC Engine. I kind of bought it by accident when I first started my PC Engine collection. And I hated it. Because it wasn't what I expected. So I never gave it a fair try until basically recently. 19, 1989, Tato! Let's go. Oh yeah, baby. look at this. Here we go. Uh, you'll know the game. Are you ready? Ah! All right. Die right off the bat. So object of the game is to cut off the board, right? Without getting hit while you're making the cuts. Uh, M. Here we go. Hold on. Wait for this son of a bitch. M M. All right, get out of here. And if you if you circle these white things right here, you get power up. So here we go. M M. Oh, we got time. Oh no, where you going, you dummy? All right, there we go. And eventually, you get the board small enough where you blow up the the, the main guy. All right, can we play? Laser. All right, now this guy's gonna, I got speed. This guy's gonna eat shit and die. I got more speed. There's time, we got him, guys. Ninety-four percent of the board was cleared. All right, get out of here. Ah, damn it! All right, all right, come on, guy. No! Nice, nice. 
we get these power ups up here. Here we go. Ah! Ah! Come on. Jeez. I need speed again. I need speed. Ah! All right, we got some speed. Come on, get out of my life! Get out of my life! Ah, come on! Oh, baby! Oh, baby, baby, baby! Ah, oh, Jesus, is that it? Anyways, guys, what do you want to do? Let's go off the rails. Come on! I just, I tortured you with my games. Now let's go off the rails. Where are we going? Virtual Boy, Wonder Swan, Astro Arcade, shoot him up. Oh no. Oh, armed F, Explosive Breaker, Don Patchy 2, Section Z, Thunder Force. Arcade. 1990 Techno Soft. Oh wow. I This is the arcade version? Give me some credits, baby. Ace. Oh, uh, okay, thank you. Thunder Force AC. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, my God. It feels good, man. And instant death. Nice. All right. Come on, guys. We got to get in the zone here. Oh, come on. Nice try, big guy. Nice try. Get, what was that? Oh, we know this guy, right? He's in, this guy's in every shooter known to man. God damn your mother. The Time. Here we go. Hit him low. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Oh, man. Where's the sweet spot? Come on. You know what? This thing is out of here. What else we got in the world? Let's shoot them up. You know what? Ness Hacks, you're out of here. Tari 700, Master System. Come on, baby. Give me, give me something. Give me something I can sink my teeth into. What is this shit? Story. All right, what am I doing? I'm spinning around. Oh, okay. Whoa, what the hell am I doing? How do I get out of Oh, snap, take that. There's one problem. Oh, okay. Oh! Okay, so it's Lunar Lander. Oh no, I'm paddling! I'm paddling! 
What the fuck? I was paddling. Hold on a second here. Player out. Okay, great. Whoa! Take that! I'm spreading my pixie dust! Okay. What the fuck? Oh, guys, guys. This game's a horror. Hold on a second here. Take that! Can I walk on the ground? Okay. Get key. Alright, here we go. No, no, what are you doing? No, you idiot! This guy's an idiot. Here we go. Now he won't shoot. Now he won't shoot. Oh. I see. You know what? I, I gotta. I gotta get past this stupid board. Come on. Come on, moron. Uh, we know. We know. You can fly. Everybody's all excited. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Take that, bitch. Here. That. That's it. I opened the gate, baby. No! What are you doing? Fly, you moron! Very Sonic the Hedgehog, the ending of that music. All right. Oh my God. I'm glad he's dead. Die, die. I can't take any more. Oh shit. Oh, I could use my thruster as uh, a weapon. The thrust from my paddles! Oh, I'm going right into this lawnmower. You ready for this? Oh, it's a fan. He blew me up. All right. Here we go. Speed run. Speed run, baby. It's, I think it's impossible to speed run this game. It's, what? What happened? Come on, I gotta get more pixie dust. Take that. Ah! Ah, uh, goodbye, goodbye. Whew. you just tuned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization and you better believe that with a 4k face we'll see you next time and guys we're making a real push on youtube shorts so if you ever watch a video and you get a, like a 60 second clip that you think is good uh, or appropriate, not, not appropriate, doesn't have to be appropriate, but we could use for a short. Uh, I'd love to put it up because uh, to be honest with you, I, I tried looking for shorts through previous videos and I, I don't know, every time I watch myself talk, I just want to vomit. So it's very difficult. But if you come across anything that you think is worthy of a short, please send it my way in the comments with a timestamp and uh, I'll put it up. Thank you guys, and thank you to the Patreons. We'll see you next time.